Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to identify the species of musca in the United States and Canada. Please pause the video at any time if you'd like to look at an image more closely or need time to think over what has been said. First, let's make sure the individual we're looking at is a musca. The genus musca can be distinguished from all other calcary genera with the following features. Musca always have four black stripes on the scutum, separated by gray tomentose stripes. Musca are unique in the superfamily muscoidea for having a sharply bent vein M1 plus 2, except for the genus Neomaya, which have a shiny green scutum and are thereby not confusable. All other similar calcary genera with a sharply bent vein M1 plus 2 have almost a perpendicular bend, unlike musca, which have a rounded bend. Once we are certain that the fly is in the genus musca, we can determine the species. There are two species of musca in the US and Canada, musca domestica and musca autumnalis. We have four available features to distinguish the species, the scutum, eye separation of both sexes, and the female abdomen. Musca domestica has extensive tomentose stripes in the scutum, and in musca autumnalis, those stripes are only lightened on the interior half of the scutum. It should be noted that some individuals of both species can have fainter stripes due to age or other factors, so please keep that in mind. The eyes of musca domestica males are decently separated, whereas in musca autumnalis, they are almost touching, as you can see here. In females, the parafrontals, or the areas in between the central black area on the fronds and the eyes, are wider in musca autumnalis than in musca domestica, as well as yellow in domestica and entirely white in autumnalis. I'll show that later. The female abdomen of musca domestica almost always has orange, whereas in musca autumnalis it is entirely gray-black, similar to that of sarcophagids, commonly known as flesh flies. Now that you know how to identify this genus, let's look at some examples. Here's our first one. First, let's make sure this is musca. We can see here that vein M1 plus 2 is sharply bending, but the bend is round, and along with the striped scutum, that makes this musca. This is a male, because while the eyes are pretty separate, they are not separate enough to make it a female. Due to the separated male eyes, this is musca domestica. Next example. We can see here that the bend on M1 plus 2 is very steep, and almost, if not perfectly, perpendicular. Due to that, this is not musca and is in fact a sarcophagid, or flesh fly. Next. We can't see M1 plus 2 very well here, but it's clear that it's bending rather sharply, but not sharp enough for us to consider it perpendicular. Along with the striped scutum, that means this is musca. This is a male, and the eyes are very close together, almost touching it seems, so this is musca autumnalis. We can confirm this by the fact that the grayness of the stripes in the scutum is restricted to the anterior of the thorax. Another example. You might have noticed in the musca that we've looked at that the bend in M1 plus 2 means that the end of the vein kind of curves into the wing, like here. In this individual, it doesn't curve into the wing at all, and the end is rather straight. We should also see how the tip of M1 plus 2 is just slightly further away from the other vein than it is in musca, which isn't as important as the shape of the bend, but it is still worth mentioning. So this is not musca, but it is in the same family, muscidae. Just a few more examples. We can see that this is musca because of the striped scutum and the sharply yet roundly bent vein M1 plus 2. This is a female because of the very wide fronds. The parafrontals here are narrow, and the stripes on the scutum are extensive, so this is musca domestica. Here you can see what a female musca autumnalis would look like, with the slightly wider parafrontals and restricted tomentosity on the scutum. I do believe the fronds feature is somewhat variable, so while in these photos it isn't very evident, in many other photos it is much easier to see. Last example. We can clearly see here that vein M1 plus 2 is not bending sharply at all. This is not musca, but it is also muscidae. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope this was helpful, and as always, please let me know if you have any questions in the comments.